Hello, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras, those guys right there, and tonight we're going to talk about installing the July 2016 cumulative update for SharePoint Server 2013. Well, that's more than a mouthful. So we're going to walk through tonight, you know, how to install it, how to figure out what build we're on, and also just as a reminder, right, just because a cumulative update is out and available doesn't necessarily mean you want to install it. In reality, what you want to do is you want to be able to say, hey, I have that problem right there, and that cumulative update fixes it. And then that's kind of how you determine what to install. Good? All right, well, then let's just jump right in. So here you can see I've got central administration up. I remote desktop into my server. It's actually the one I've used through the Azure series of videos, if you want to go back and see how I built this VM to here. And I'm logged in as my install account. It's a local administrator, and it's the account that I did all the different uh, SharePoint build and install processes as. So it has all the right access it needs. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see what level of patch this server is currently at. So if you go to upgrade and migration, there's two things you can look at. One is you can go to review database status and make sure that everything looks good. So you can see over here, no action required. So all the databases are good. Yay. We'll hit the back button. And so then we're going to go to check product and patch installation status. So here you can see that this box has got RTM, obviously. And then we had service pack one, which got us to build 15.04571. And then, as part of the uh, install process, actually to add support for uh, SQL 2014, I installed the June 2016 QNOV update for SharePoint Server, and that got me build 4833. But you're thinking, how do you know that build 4833 is that patch? Good question. The easiest way to determine that is if you go ahead and open another tab here, and we're going to go to www.toddclint.com. And I'll put the uh, link to this down in the comments if you're having a hard time spelling his name. Right, there it is. Um, and I'll probably deface his picture when I edit the video as well. Um, but here if you look, he has a nice little link here for SharePoint 2013 builds. And so what he's done is every build since I believe one of the beta, yep, he started the beta, he has documented the build number of SharePoint. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of this list. All right, so he's documented the build number of SharePoint, what patch or how we refer to that commonly, then what KB articles, so explaining what's in that patch, a download link, and then finally any issues he might know with that. So if we switch back to central admin and we see that we have 4833, if we look, we'll see 4833 maps to the June 2016 CU that I told you we already installed. So, yay! So for this video, we're going to install 4841, the July uh, CU. Not for any specific reason, right? I'm not installing this because it's needed. I'm installing this just to show you guys because if you determined that you needed it, how to work through the process. If you wanted to look at what's in the patch, first thing you could do is right click on this KB and say open a new tab, because Todd doesn't open a new window because he's a slacker. And so if we go over here, we could actually read through the details of this KB and see all the different things. So there was some security updates to get packaged in here. Um, looks like Word Automation Services had a fix. So nothing too outstanding or too exciting. And then there is the link to download the update. Or, all right, back over here on Todd's blog, what we can do is we can use the download link. Right, Todd gave us a direct download link. So it's right here. So we hit download. And so then when this opens, you can expand out, you can look through all the fun things, at the details, look it's giant, um, it's linking back to the KB article. Keep in mind the system requirements for this particular patch, and it's covered in the KB articles, you have to have service pack 1 or later, uh, so we know we have that covered off, or this patch won't install, so you can't go from RTM straight to this patch. Um, also this patch uh, rolls in the foundation and the uh, different language packs all of that stuff is rolled in this one QNOV update. So you just need this one CU. You don't have to worry about any of the other QNOV updates. If you have SharePoint Server, of course. All right, so we're gonna hit download. And this has messed me up more than once before. You need all three of these files. So go ahead and hit the multi-select, because what happens is SharePoint, or sorry, Microsoft stores these files on a SQL Server behind the scenes, and it can't hold two gig files, or it can only hold files less than two gigs. And so 1.4, 1.4, and 2, right, it ends up like 3.1. So they broke it up into smaller chunks so you didn't have uh, 
you know, run into that file size limit. So you need all three of these files. So we'll say next. And it blocked a pop up. We'll allow that pop up. And so we should get three files to download. Now, what I want you to do here is I'm going to hit save as. And I'm actually, I use a C install folder. We talked about that in the install video. I'm going to create a new folder called the July 2016 CU. Because the CUs have very similarly named files, those uh, Uber 1 and Uber 2. And so you don't want any type of competition or confusion between old uh, CUs you might have installed. So double click on July and say save. All right, so there's the Uber 2 cab. So we'll say save as for that one. Same folder, save and the Uber one, save as, and save there. Um, if you're having problems, your downloading is not working because you're on the local server, well, you probably should have downloaded them somewhere else anyway. But if you wanted, what I had to do is I went here to Internet Options and Security, and for the Internet Zone, I said Custom Level, and then I scrolled down about two-thirds of the way, or about a third of the way, I should say, and downloads, I enabled file downloads. That's the thing that was blocking, might be blocking you on your environment from doing the download. All right, so I'll cancel. Okay, I've already made that change. We can see one of my downloads is done. The other two are running about 50%. One second remaining, I don't believe. So I'll hit pause and I'll be back as soon as they finish. Thanks to the magic of pausing, we are now done with that. So we'll close out. And we'll close out of all of this because really we're done. So close all those. And so now we need to navigate over to our C drive and then install. And then there's our July 2016 CU. So there's the, the two extras and then there's the main. So if you double click this guy, what's gonna happen is he's gonna cram all that into one big file for us. So say yes to the security prompt. And it says, hey, click here to accept the terms. You can read all that, Do looks good, continue. And so just like that, it's now off to the races to do the install. So I will um, hopefully let the little window pop up. I wanted to pop up to show you it was off to the races, but sometimes it runs fast, sometimes it runs slow. There it goes. All right, so now it's starting to run the update. Um, I'll hit pause and I'll come back when this finishes. All right, so now that that finished up, we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. Yep. Yes, we don't care that people logged in. And so while that runs, we will uh, I'll come back. All right, so now that the system's rebooted, what we need to do is we need to run Configuration Wizard. So we're going to go down here, we hit Start, and the SharePoint 2013 Products Configuration Wizard. Yes. Right, because what we did with the uh, that installer we just ran was it went ahead and it put the bits on, so it configured all the bits and binaries and all that for the cumulative update. But now we need to go roll those into our farm. So we need to go apply those to the database. And the configuration wizard is going to go and put that into all the content databases so they're all ready for that update. And so now configuration wizard's up. We're going to say next. Hey, it's going to shut down IIS, so SharePoint will be unavailable when this runs. We know that, so yes. And it's like, all right, let me go. So next. And so now it's off to the races. So while it's off to the races, I'll hit pause, and I'll see you in a second. All right, and so configuration is successful. Hooray, that didn't take too long, so we'll say finish. And then central admin will open up. And now that central admin's opened, we'll go over here, upgrade migration again. View database status. All of our databases are happy, we'll hit back. Check product and patch installation status. And look at that, 4841 has now been installed. Yay! So you've now installed the July 2016 QNF update for SharePoint Server 2013. Oh, more than a mouthful. All right, well, that'll wrap up this video. You can look in the uh, series will be continuing, so if you want to see other videos on this set, definitely uh, check them out. So always give me a like or leave some comments below to let me know how you feel or what we can do to make this video better or different in the future. And also uh, subscribe to the channel to get updates like this going on forward. All right. Thanks and have a great day.